the very first great thing about the Eco Drive is that it has very durable spoke rims, although it's a very small factor that most might overlook, but every detail counts, as I believe that you are getting this e bike for long term usage, right? I like how I could switch on and off the light effortlessly with just a punch of a button and not only that, you could definitely hear Eco Drive's horn meters away. If you are intending to get this e-bike for recreational usage more than delivery, great news as this e-bike comes along with a rear seat for you. Unlike other e-bikes, Eco Drive includes a key ignition so you don't have to go through the hassle to find a shop to install it. Thus far, EcoDrive is the only e-bike that allows you to choose colours such as green, blue, red, silver and white. The default colour of the EcoDrive is black. Now with the pros, here comes the cons. Due to the moto and cap speed limit, it will not reach 25km per hour with pedal assist no matter how hard you pedal. The build of the EcoDrive may not be so dynamic as it requires you to have an allen key to adjust the height of the seat. If you intend to use EcoDrive to do food delivery, you will have to first remove the rear seat in order to mount your thermal bag. It isn't super complicated to remove the rear seat as I made a video on how to remove EcoDrive's rear seat. I'll leave the link in the comment section below. Despite that the pros outweigh the con, would you get the EcoDrive? If not, which e-bike model would you get? Let me know down in the comments below. Other than GrabFood vlogging and delivery hacks, from time to time I do reviews as well. Why don't you share me on something that you would like me to review next and you should watch a blue playlist on the top right or check out my delivery vlogs that I've selected for you. Fellow riders, see you on the streets!